Riley or Abigail goes to our regional spelling bee. The regional spelling bee competes against all the other schools in our region that have sent somebody there. The student that wins at the regional then goes to the state spelling bee. So both of them have the potential that they could go to the state and compete against other kids in the state. Quiet down, here's my rules. You need to be silent, completely silent. No clapping, no cheering, nothing, so that they can hear and we can keep moving on, okay? If you cannot be quiet, we will remove you. They, both of these girls have been working really, really hard and studying and preparing for this, so please do not be disrespectful to them. We're gonna start with a like practice round just so they can get their nerves out. So these first few words are not going to count. They're just to help them kind of loosen up. I'll let you know when the actual spelling bee starts. Um, Riley has decided that she's going to go first. So we're gonna start with Riley. And, you ready? Okay. Remember, these are just the practice words. Scale. Um, the violinist played an A major scale to warm up before her reciter, recital. Scale. S-C-A-L-E. Correct. Insect. Zara's favorite insect is the caterpillar. Insect. I-N-S-E-C-T. Good. Speak. Gus always tries to speak quietly when his little sister is napping. Speak. S P E A K. Excellent. Tennis. Trudy plays tennis twice a week. Tennis. T E N N I S. Very good. Narrow. The sidewalk is very narrow to walk side by side. Narrow. N A R R O W. Excellent. Button. Hector carefully stitched a button on his shirt to replace the one that had fallen off. Button. B U T T O N. Okay. All right, guys, you ready? Here's your words that count, okay? Halter. Jane slipped a halter and lead on her horse and led him out to the pasture to graze. Halter. H-A-L-T-E-R. Excellent. Viking. The Viking, Leif Erikson, is famous for exploring the northeastern coast of North America. Viking. Capital V-I-K-I-N-G. Very good. Pouted. Davy pouted when his mom told him it was time to go to bed. Pouted. P-O-U-T-E-D. Excellent. Canal. Kyle steered the boat into the narrow canal. C A N A L. Very good. <coughs> temple. The Millers admired the ornate architecture of the temple on their trip to Cambodia. Temple. T E M P L E. Very good. Warmth. Maria's favorite winter activity is sipping cocoa by the wood stove and feeling its warmth thaw her chilly feet. Warmth. W-A-R-M-T-H. Excellent. Aspect. The artist looked for a studio with a northern aspect so the light would be consistent. Aspect. A-S-P-E-C-T. 
Very good. Newlyweds. The newlyweds went to Tahiti for their honeymoon. Newlyweds. N-E-W-L-Y-W-E-D-S. Correct. Strident. Joe's strident laugh could be heard all the way outside the building. Strident. S-T-R-I-D-E-N-T. -E Very good. <coughs> rotating. Samantha and Caleb prefer rotating the chores each week. Rotating. R-O-T-A-T-I-N. A-T-I-N-G. Correct. Norse. Murals of the Oslo Museum depict Norse legends. Norse. Do capitals count? It's up to you. Okay. N-O-R-S-E. Correct. Decent. The first cake Jared made was decent, and he hoped to get better with practice. Decent. D-E-C-E-N-T. Correct. Sullen. When his name was called in class, Trey looked up in sullen resentment. Sullen. S-U-L-L-E-N. Correct. Abroad. Liam and Kathleen traveled abroad for a year after college, visiting as many countries as they could. Abroad. A-B-R-O-A-D. Correct. Clamoring. Seth is clamoring up the ladder to repair the leaky roof. Clamoring. C-L-A-M-B-E-R-I-N-G. Correct. Cinders. One of Max's chores is to sweep the cinders from the fireplace. Cinders. C-I-N-D-E-R-S. Correct. Neglected. Alexis bought the neglected house at auction and renovated it before moving in. Neglected. N-E-G-L-E-C-T-E-D. Correct. Salvation. Allison considers reading books her salvation from all of her daily chores. Salvation. S-A-L-V-A-T-I-O-N. Correct. Expensive. Janie knew that if she wanted to buy the expensive toy, she would have to do extra chores to earn the money. Expensive. Correct. Plantations. Mr. McNally prepared a lesson about the history of slavery and agriculture on plantations in the 18th century. Plantations. P-L-A-N-T-A-T-I-O-N-S. Correct. Venice. Brady and Sophia ended their tour of Europe with a week in Venice. Venice. V-E-N-I-C-E. -E. Correct. Unison. Mrs. Kelly had her class recite the alphabet in unison. Unison. U-N-I-S-O-N. -S Correct. Pastures. The farm has three fenced pastures, a pond and trails for hiking and riding horses. Pastures. P-A-S-T-U-R-E-S. -E Correct. Undesirable. Carlos made a face at the undesirable raisins in his otherwise tasty looking oatmeal cookie. Undesirable. U-N-D-E-S. I-R-E-B-L-E. Correct. Survival. The survival of the Donner Party snowbound in the Sierra Nevada during the winter of 1846 to 47. 
is a story that fascinates many people. Survival. S-U-R-V-I-V-A-L. Correct. That's the end of the fifth grade words. Tomes on the history of Roman Empire over summer break. Tomes. T O N E S. Correct. Nursery. After looking at interior design websites all morning, Mrs. Robinson decided on yellow walls with a dinosaur mural for the baby's nursery. Nursery. N U R S E R Y. Correct. Levy. The company had difficulty paying the important taxes that were levied on the goods. Levied. L-E-V-I-E-D. Correct. Roundabout. The highway takes a roundabout route to get past the mountains. Roundabout. R-O-U-N-D-A-B-O-U-T. Correct. Improvise. When there was a delay in the program, the actors agreed to improvise a quick skit to keep the audience entertained. Improvise. I M P R O V I S E. Correct. Musician. Rebecca loves her job as a touring musician, but she finds the schedule somewhat tiring. Musician. M U S I C I A N. Correct. Precise. Mr. Jones encourages his students to use clear and precise languages in all forms, precise language in all forms of writing. Precise. P R E C I S E. Correct. Simulate. On Saturday, the emergency response team will simulate a rescue of individuals exposed to anthrax. Simulate. S-I-M-U-L-A-T. Correct. Heralded. Mrs. Hesh's announcement that the class would have extra time for recess was heralded with cheers. Heralded. H-E-R-A-L-D-E-D. -E Correct. Uh. Mohawk. Alistair was surprised at the amount of daily maintenance his mohawk required to keep it looking snazzy. Mohawk. M-O-H-A-W-K. Correct. Scenery. What Delia remembered most from her trip to Scotland was the rugged mountain scenery. Scenery. S-C-E-N-E-R-Y. Correct. Allowance. Greta begged her parents for a higher allowance so that she could attend concerts more frequently. Allowance. A-L-L-O-W-A-N-C-E. Correct. Exterior. Ashley bought purple exterior paint for her front door. Exterior. E-X-T-E-R-I-O-R. -E -E Correct. Pacific. Melody enjoyed a main course of Pacific salmon with wild rice and steamed asparagus. Pacific. P-A-C-I-F-I-C. -I -I Correct. Automated. The university recently automated its admissions process. Automated. A-U-T-O-M-A-T-E-D. Correct. Committee. 
Uh, Lucy's activities with the grounds beautification committee take up most of her spare time. Committee. C O M M I T T E E. Correct. Sconces. Michael bought sconces to hang by the bathroom mirror. Sconces. S C O N C E S. Correct. Consecutive. Mario's hockey team won seven consecutive games to get to the playoffs. Consecutive. C O N S E C T E S. C O N S E C U T I V E. Correct. Appointed. Miss Jakes appointed Ruby as president of the AV club after Astrid graduated. Appointed. A P P O I N T E D. Correct. Geometry. Rachel was surprised to learn that the study of geometry can be traced all the way back to ancient Mesopotamia and Egypt. Geometry. G E O M E. Correct. Scavenger. The raccoon is a scavenger that will eat nearly any plant or animal matter it can get its paws on. Scavenger. S C A V E N G E R. Correct. Aerospace. Kim plans to study aerospace engineering in college and then work for NASA. Aerospace. A E R O S P A C E. Correct. Subdivision. Mom and Dad are considering buying a lot of a, a lot in a subdivision on the edge of town. Subdivision. S U B D I V I S I O N. Correct. Instantaneous. Carl's slow, nervous marriage proposal was balanced by Willa's instantaneous rejection. Instantaneous. I N S T A N T A N E O. Correct. Nausea. Kyle keeps his window rolled down to minimize the nausea he sometimes experiences on road trips. Nausea. N-A-U-S-E-A. -E Correct. That's the last of the sixth grade words. Alacrity and department and depart with reluctance. Alacrity. A L A C R I T Y. Correct. Cordial. Leland gave his guests a cordial greeting and offered them tea. Cordial. C O R D I A L. Correct. Orchids. Georgia insisted on growing orchids in her front garden. Orchids. O R C H I D S. Correct. Calamine. 
A lotion containing calamine gave Pam much relief from her poison ivy. Calamine. C-A-L-A-M-I-N-E. Correct. Jauntily. Steve's hat was perched jauntily on the side of his head. Jauntily. J-A-U-N-T-I-L-Y. Correct. Composure. Carmen took a deep breath to regain her composure after her voice cracked in the middle of a high note in her solo. Composure. C-O-M-P-O-S-U-R-E. Correct. Despondency. The entire student body went through a period of despondency after the cafeteria quit serving pizza. Despondency. D-E-S-P-O-N-D-E-N-C-Y. Correct. Peroxide. Josh's mom cleaned his cut with hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide. P-E-R-O-X-I-D-E. Correct. Sophomore. While a sophomore in high school, Ted worked part-time at a fast food eatery. Sophomore. S-O-P-H-O-M-O-R-E. Correct. Quantum. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with the physical phenomenon at microscopic scales. Quantum. Q-U-A-N-T-U-M. Correct. Amputation. Marge suspected her neighbor of foul play when her favorite magnolia tree showed signs of amputation. A-M-P-U-T-A. I'm weird. A-M-P-U-T-A-T-I-O-N. Correct. Linoleum. The pattern in Sheena's kitchen linoleum resembles inlaid pebbles. Linoleum. L-I-N-O-L-E-U-M. Correct. Repugnance. Rada thinks the pushy sales thinks of pushy salespeople with repugnance. Repugnance. R E P U G N A N C E. Correct. Impeccable. A background investigation affirmed the candidate's impeccable character. Impeccable. I M P E C C A B L E. Correct. Tay bears. Although they frequently live in forests, tapirs with access to rivers spend a good deal of time in and underwater. Tapirs. T A P I R S. Correct. Flabbergasted. Ron's mother was so flabbergasted that he had received all A's on his report card that she couldn't speak. Flabbergasted. F-L-A-B-B-E-R-G-A-S-T. Finnegan's, please come to the Correct. front office for an early dismissal. The Finnegan's, please come to the front office for an early dismissal. Contagious. The patient's contagious disease necessitated his isolation from other people in the hospital. Contagious. C-O-N-T-A-G-I-O-U-S. Correct. Stevedores. The captain instructed his crew that they would be acting the parts of the stevedores when they arrived at park at port. Stevedores. S T E V E D O R E S. Correct. Vosphorus. 
The student's Vosphorus complaints led to the reinstatement of Taco Tuesday. Vosphorus. V-O-C-I-F-E-R-O-U-S. Correct. <laughs> Reservoir. Because of the dry spell, the town reservoir was only half full and water restrictions had to be imposed. Reservoir. R-E-S-E-R-V-O-I-R. Correct. Azalea. Anna grew a magnificent azalea on her balcony. Azalea. A-Z-A-L-E-A. -A. Correct. Generalissimo. Jack was surprised to find out that Mrs. Pajera thought he resembled the Generalissimo from her favorite daytime soap opera, Generalissimo. G-E-N-E-R-A-L-I-S-S-I-O. -S -S Correct. Claustrophobic. Kelsey was extremely claustrophobic and therefore never rode in elevators. Claustrophobic. C-L-A-U-S-T-R-O-P-H-O-B-I-C. Correct. Monsieur. Monsieur Robert frequented the same bakery every day on his walk to work to have his favorite chocolate croissant, Monsieur. M-O-N-S-I-E-U-R. Correct, that's the end of the seventh grade words. to listen to it. Intimation. I-N-T-I-M-A T-I-M Correct. Provisio. The Wilmot po Provisio of 1846 stipulated that no territory acquired by ending the Mexican-American War should be open to slavery. Provisio. R-O-V-I-S-O. -O. Correct. Brigands. The brigands in Mary's book were known for only stealing items made of gold, never silver. Brigands. B-R-I-G-A-N-D-S. Correct. Strenuous. Paul relaxed after his strenuous workout. Strenuous. S-T-R-E-N-U-O-U-S. Can you please repeat? S-T-R-E-N-U-O-U-S. Correct. Gargoyle. The stonemason spent three weeks meticulously carving a gargoyle to replace on a corner of the cathedral tower. Gargoyle. G-A-R-G-O-Y-L-E. Correct. Monomania. Ferdinand's obsession with soccer could only be described as monomania. M-O-N-O-M-A-N-I-A. Correct. 
Sherpa. The famous Sherpa Tenzing Norgay climbed to the summit of Mount Everest with Edmund Hillary. Sherpa. S-H-E-R-P-A. Correct. Atrocity. Gretchen was overwhelmed by details of the foreign atrocity. Atrocity. A-T-R-O-C-I-T-Y. Correct. Pastrami. For lunch, Ollie made a sandwich with pastrami and mustard. Pastrami. P-A-S-T-R-A-M-I. Correct. Memorandum. Britta sent a memorandum to all her employees announcing a change to the company's social media policy. Memorandum. M-E-M-O-R-A-N-D-U-N. Correct. Voluminous. Even though the skirt of her gown was very voluminous, the young starlet had no trouble moving down the red carpet. Voluminous. B-O-L-U-M-I-N-O-U-S. Correct. Crematoria. The first crematoria in England were built in the 1870s in the Dean and Chapter of Westminster Abbey. Crematoria. C-R-E-M-A-T-O-R-I-A. Correct. Financiers. The financiers were interested to see last year's earnings report from the restaurant. <coughs> financiers. F-I-N-A-N-C-I-E-R-S. Correct. Conspicuous. The heiress was skewered in the press for her conspicuous spending habits during the time of natural crisis. Conspicuous. C-O-N-S-P-I-C-U-O-U-S. Correct. Incarcerated. Fatima didn't think it was fair that she was incarcerated in her room for telling her little brother a monster lived in his closet. Incarcerated. I N C A R C E R A T E D. Correct. Ooh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> Appendectomy. Heidi was rushed to the hospital to have an emergency appendectomy after complaining of severe pain in her abdomen. Appendectomy. A P P E N D E C T O M Y. Correct. Jesus. Extenuation. Silas knew that the act of breaking his mother's favorite face was incapable of e even of extenuation, but still he tried to explain himself or herself to her. Extenuation. E X T E N U A T I O N. Correct. Sphinx. According to Greek legend, the Sphinx of Thebes would pose a riddle to a passerby and then kill that person if he or she could not answer the riddle. Sphinx. S P H I N X. Correct. Treacherous. Throughout the winter, frigid temperatures and the damp sea air caused treacherous black ice to form on the coastal town streets. Treacherous. T R E A C H E R O U S. Correct. Hallucinations. Kyle was so hungry that he kept having hallucinations of warm chocolate chip cookies served with a cold glass of milk. Hallucinations. H-A-L-L-U-C-I-N-A-T-I-O-N-S. Correct. Seminole. Seminole women traditionally wore wraparound skirts, usually woven from palmetto. Seminole. 
S E M I N O L E. Correct. Uncoquettish. Mindy was surprisingly uncoquettish compared with her sister. Uncoquettish. U N C O Q U E T T I S H. Correct. Excruciating. An excruciating toothache kept Marcel from enjoying the camping trip. Excruciating. E X C R U T E X C R U C I A T I N. Correct. <laughs> Tempestuous. When the novice sailors began to doubt that they would be able to handle the tempestuous conditions, they radioed the Coast Guard for help. Tempestuous. T-E-M-P-E-S-T-U-U-S. Correct. Grotesque. Circus sideshows often featured grotesque forms of animal life. Grotesque. G R O T E S Q. Correct. <coughs> Billiers. Trixie fed her dog late at night to prevent Billiers vomiting. Billiers. B I L I O U S. Correct. Cypress. Angelo's favorite part about his new house was that there was an enormous cypress growing in the front yard. Cypress. C Y P R E S S. Correct. Disquisition. Retta's first book was a lengthy disquisition on the Irish potato famine. Disquisition. D I S Q U I S I T I O N. Correct. Variegated. A shady corner of the garden was brightened by a clump of variegated coleus plants. Variegated. V A R I E G A T E D. Correct. Ooh. Annexation. The annexation of Texas by the United States in 1845 was one of the causes of the Mexican War. Annexation. A N N E X A T I O N. Correct. Cupules. Sebastian's favorite part about Rome was seeing all of the cupules in the architecture. Cupules. C U P O L A S. Correct. Avocations. Although she was a lawyer by day, Ashley's avocations included painting and singing. Avocations. A V O C A T I O N S. Correct. Requisites. Isla knew that biology and chemistry classes were requisites for her college major. Requisites. R E Q U I S I T E S. Correct. Succulent. Perry wiped his mouth with his sleeve after he bit into the succulent peach. Succulent. S U C C U L E N T. Correct. Patans. 
Climbers who subscribe to the clean climbing ethic avoid hammering patans directly into rock wherever possible to avoid damaging it. Patans. P-I-T-O-N-S. Correct. Lassitude. Lassitude is a synonym of many tropical, is a symptom of many tropical diseases. Lassitude. L-A-S-S-I-T-U-D-E. Correct. Pecuinary. Margaret appreciates her grandmother's engagement ring for its sentimental value rather than its pecuinary worth. Pecuinary. P-E-C-U-N-I-A-R-Y. Correct. Let me remind you, audience, that I need you to be quiet. Your whispering can be heard up here. It's distracting. Supercilious. The supercilious senior ignored her first year student. Supercilious. S-U-P-E-R-C-I-L-I-O-U-S. Correct. Sanguine. Ever sanguine, Kathy said that she would one day be as famous as Oprah Winfrey and the Cat in the Hat combined. Sanguine. S-A-N-G-U-I-N-E. Correct. Oologist. Molly's mom fancied herself an oologist because she had the shells of three different birds in her collection. Oologist. O-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. Correct. Capes. The only remaining large-scale commercial capes crop in England is the sweet chestnut. Capes. C O P P I C E. Correct. Rhododendron. Evan's mother plants a rhododendron along the driveway every year on his birthday. Rhododendron. R H O D. Correct. Concierge. The concierge took note of the mysterious man's comings and goings at the hotel. Concierge. C O N S I E R G. I'm sorry, that is incorrect, right? Oh. Abigail gets this word correct, you are the winner. If not, we keep going. <laughs> millinery. Tabitha's mother worked in millinery for over 30 years before opening her own small clothing shop. Millinery. M-I-L-L-I-N-E-R-Y. Correct. Both of our participants, a round of applause. Great job, guys. All right, again, great job, young scholars. Give a little gift for them. Riley, I have a finished part of the gift card for you. Stay there. Great job. And uh, Abigail will get a new tablet from.